my faith has sustained me throughout my life. The Catholic Church is positively transforming our lives because they're always here for us. We're all in this together in a way. The church is about people. It's about how we're going to live out Christ's call in our lives. I shudder to think where I would be. I have, if I was still alive, I don't know what my circumstances would be. They would not be, they certainly would not be what they are now. I served in the Navy for six years, from 1982 until 1988. After 10 years of marriage, my wife decided she wanted a divorce. My depression spiraled even deeper and I wound up turning to substances, specifically alcohol, to uh, ease the pain of my depression. And that began a slow, painful downward spiral that resulted in my losing basically everything in life. I am a recovering alcoholic. This particular facility, to me this was a godsend. Nobody likes to think that, my goodness, I'm living in a transitional place for homeless people. To come to a place like this, that's state of the art, phenomenal, brand new, clean, almost like an apartment complex you would be renting from if you were like a regular person with a regular job. This was not a game changer for me, this was a lifesaver. And I don't think there can be anything more transformative than having one's life saved. Pope Francis reminds us all the time that true power is found in service. The mission of the Diocese of Scranton is to embrace servant leadership. And the way in which we live that best is by looking to those who are on the margins of society. Our social service agencies provide us with wonderful opportunities to respond to those needs. They help us transform lives in countless numbers of ways throughout this diocese, most especially in the lives of our young people in our Catholic school system and in our religious education programs in our parishes. I'm proud of my family because each and every one of them, they have their own unique traits, looks, individual expressions, and they're all very good kids. Our family is well known in the school because you know we have five in Monsignor McHugh and one in Notre Dame. Our faith is very important to us. It's the Catholic school that reinforces our faith. I feel they get a great education. The teachers do show that they care. They care about their education, but they also care about the whole person. Every year it is a challenge to send the children to Catholic school. It is a big sacrifice financially to send them, but through the generous um, contribution through the diocese and the parishes, um, we're able to do that, and we're so grateful for that. Our parishes are the heart of faith in this diocese, where people's lives are really changed, and where we set the tone for what it is that we're called to do as followers of Jesus Christ. It's so, so important for us to welcome individuals who come looking for something more in their lives, because we believe that in our parishes and through our faith, we have a tremendous gift to give. I uh, moved up here from, from New York, and it was a totally different world for me. I'm grateful that I uh, made the decision to come here. The adjustment was a little bit easier for me because of this parish. Being welcoming and inviting is a hallmark of St. Vincent's. We've been about parish renewal for some time. The ultimate outcome of a more vibrant parish is happening across the board. Parishes have their own identities, their own visions, their own personalities. We are now asking parishioners, how do you see parish? What do you see our strengths to be? Bishop Bambera has established a wonderful pastoral life office that serves us so that as a pastor, I can take the next step. Each parish can develop in its own way, and they're going to come out at the end with what with a picture of what they are like, and their plan is going to be unique to their parish. Parishes aren't here to serve the diocese. The diocese is here to serve, to embolden, to enrich, and to equip our parishes for ministry and mission. Gifts that are given to the diocesan appeal are vital in supporting our retired bishops and priests. These men continue to serve the life of this diocese in ways that we can only begin to imagine. It is equally important to support our future. Gifts to the appeal enable our men who are in formation to become priests to be trained in the best way possible where they can learn and grow and flourish as they look to the future service of this diocese in priestly ministry. I love being a priest. I think for me, 
the ministry of the priesthood is one of the most powerful and one of the most rewarding. I'm originally from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. You know, and I was just a normal kid in high school, played football, had normal friends, did all the things that your average high school student does. And then when it came time for college, I went to the College of William & Mary in Virginia. It was really, I think, during those years that I first started to feel the call to the priesthood. I, for one, am grateful for for the support I had from the priests and the people of St. Anne's and Williamsport. And I know I could not have possibly asked for anything more. There was no question in my mind that I wanted to come back home. There's something special here. There's a pride, I think, that the priests and the people of the Diocese of Scranton have. In my mind, I'm, I'm not just called to be a priest. I'm called to be a priest here. And I'm not just called to serve people. I'm called to serve these people that live in Northeastern Pennsylvania. The gifts that so many provide for the annual appeal give us a wonderful opportunity to participate in the work of the gospel. We are best the church when each one of us uses our gifts and talents to build up one another. We are best the church when we collaborate and partner with each other. And we are best the church when your generosity enables us to transform lives together. I would say to someone who has donated to the annual appeal, thank you so much. Do you have any idea what your money has been doing? If it wasn't for them, our family, we, we wouldn't be able to go to Catholic school. I would say uh, thank you. I would say thank you very much. Thank you for helping us to transform lives together. Thank you for your generous support of the Diocesan Annual Appeal.